Hello there, this is Alana Tucky, and I'm here to help you with your O33 first project. All right, so um, I'm going to assume that you've already bought your candy, and you've already counted it and taken a picture of it with um, your camera on your phone or your camera at home and have emailed it to your professor or have brought in the candy. So I'm assuming steps one's done, you've bought your candy, you've counted your candy, etc. And now I'm going to help you with steps two and three in particular. So step two, you need to create a frequency and a relative frequency distribution. All right, so first thing you need to do is you need to label a worksheet to have an Excel workbook as data and graphs. So to start that, we need to have Excel. So make sure you're working on a computer with Excel. I have it down here on my little startup menu bar. If you don't see it down there, you can usually go to the start window right here. It might be in the list like mine is right here or you could maybe just type. If you just type Excel like this, and then there it is, and then you click on it, and it'll open up, and you have a new spreadsheet. So let me make this bigger so you can see. All right, now this is called the workbook, right? It's an Excel workbook, and all the little boxes you see in here are called cells, okay? And oops, I gotta move my little recording. That's, that's me in recording, so don't pay any attention to that. All right, now over here, you can see you actually have different sheets. They're called worksheets. So right now, the default is we have three of them. If you want to put in another one, you click right here on this little blank one. And it says insert, and boom, you've got a fourth one. Boom, you got a fifth one. And you can make as many as you want. Now, according to the instructions, they want us to label a worksheet in your Excel workbook as data and graphs. So let's do that. I'm going to name it sheet. So I double clicked, or you could, here let me show you, you could right click and choose rename, or you could just double click on it, double click on that sheet one, and write data and graphs. Oopsie, if you spell graphs right. Now while we're on the subject, before we do anything more, let's save this. This is currently book one. I don't want to name it book one. So I'm going to go up here to the file thing, where it says file, up here on the top left, click on that. I'm going to choose Save As, and I'm going to save it to my document somewhere. So always make sure you save it someplace you know where it is. So I'm going to call it 033 Project Number 1, Alana Tucky. It's always a good name to idea for something you're going to be emailing to a professor to have your name in there somewhere. That way, the professor knows whose it is when they look at it, um, and they also know it from the email. All right, now it's saved, and I've got my new name. And I'm going to keep saving along the way. And you can do that with this little icon up here. That way you won't lose anything. If your computer dies, you lose power, whatever, you still have everything you've done. Make sure that it's put someplace that you know where it is. Like mine is in my documents in the O33 folder. Or if you're working on your home computer, you could put it on your desktop. Or make an O33 folder and put it in there. Make it someplace you know where to go. All right, now I'm going to start with my frequency table. So my first thing is my color, and then my frequency, right? And I'm going to bold those because I want to make those really obvious. And you can, um, I just highlighted them, and I did control B, but you can also hit the B right up here, and that'll make it bold. All right, now my colors for my particular thing were orange. And I'm not going to tell you what my candy is, I don't think. Who knows, maybe it'll slip out while I'm talking about this. I was going to keep it a surprise. I don't know if anybody would get my candy off the top of their head. All right. Now, you might think, oh, how did she just do that? Well, I wanted to make it so that, um, well, first of all, I'd like to make this a little bit bigger, easier to read. So I'm going to go here and make it so it's 16 font or something like that. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then I want to make it so that this is perfect sized. So I'm going to go here and see how the cursor kind of turns to this double-sided arrow when you get on that top of that line between A and B, double click and it'll automatically make it big enough. And you can do it for B and C. Double click and you make it big enough. And then I'm just going to type in my numbers from my bag of candy. All right, there we go. So I've got the frequency distribution part made. It's a table with the frequencies listed. I'll be back to show you how to find the relative frequencies in the next um, video. See you then.